Okay, I'm going to be doing a three-day test to see if I can keep the van cool totally off-grid using just solar and a Cooper and Hunter 9000 BTU split unit. I'm going to be monitoring the outside temp, the inside temp, the battery level, and the amount of solar power that we use. The forecast highs for the next three days are in the upper 80s. The lows are in the mid 60s. So it's a little cooler than I would have liked, but we'll repeat this test when it gets warmer. I have the split unit turned on. It's set on 72 degrees, and I'll show you the setup where I'm doing the monitoring inside in just a minute. But first, take a listen to this. camera microphone is pointing directly at the unit so that's pretty quiet okay now we're on the inside and the unit is still running so that's how much noise it makes on the inside This is my GoPro setup where I'm recording the battery level and the temperatures every 30 minutes on a time lapse. The remote has a follow me mode which uses the remote temperature to control the unit and it's currently at 71 degrees. This is an app on my phone which shows the solar output. It also has a history page which shows the total output so I'll be able to see how much I use each day. And this is just one of the pictures that I had taken every 30 minutes. Then I recorded this data and put it into a graph and we'll take a look at that in a couple of minutes. Okay, the three day test is over and the results are Yes, you can absolutely cool a van just on solar. This is a Cooper and Hunter Sophia model mini split. It is a 9000 BTU 25 sear 115 volt unit. For batteries in the van, we have two Renogy 170 amp hour lithium batteries. And on the roof, we have three 335 watt Panasonic solar panels for a total of 1,005 watts. I'm working on a van tour video where I'll go into more detail on all the systems in the van with a lot of time spent on the electrical system. So keep your eye open for that in maybe a week or two. Now we'll take a look at the chart with all the data that I collected. I broke the chart down into three days ending at 5.30 p.m. because that's when the van went into the shade. The green line is the battery level, the orange line is the outside temperature, and the yellow line is the inside temperature. When the unit's in cool mode, the fan on the inside unit runs all the time whether the compressor is running or not. So what you will notice with the battery is when the sun goes down, there's a slow drain overnight. The next morning when the sun comes up, the solar charges the batteries back up to 100% and there's enough power to run the uh, mini split all day just on solar. As you can see, the daytime highs were 84, 89, and 91. And the nighttime lows were 62, 65, and 71. So as you can see from the battery levels, the van had no problems keeping the inside temperature between 69 and 72. I would point out that no one was in the van doing anything else, so that would make a little difference. And it wasn't really as hot as I would like for it to be, so I will repeat this test in a month or so when it gets a lot warmer. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the Van Tour video coming out soon.